Greetings friends! We have a number of projects going on around here right now. So it's just like things are just super busy. And typically this is a time of year where things start to slow down a little bit on the homestead right before they gear up for the spring. But this year things are going pretty strong because we have the yurt renovation project going on as well as things I'm doing in the garden as well as some things I'm doing in the greenhouse and yes some forestry projects that I have going on right behind me of clearing out a number of trees to expand our area here that we're working with on our homestead. And I'm super pumped up about this new forestry gear that I recently received. And received it just in time for me to start working on this project for today. I have my helmet and face shield here pumped up about using as well as these chaps right here and thank you so much to one of our viewers who kindly and generously gave us these gave this this gear to me to help me stay safe as I'm out here working so thank you very much Karen Jones so today I'm gonna be cutting down these trees right here in this line and just continuing on to clear out this area for our animals to have better areas to to graze in so hopefully i plan to clear this out plant some fruit trees here and there as well as just have some grass for animals to, to just enjoy so uh today let's get started so the first thing i need to do is clear out this area right here where i plan to drop the trees just to make it safe as well as not to destroy anything as the trees are falling for the most part, the trees are leaning this way because of trying to reach for the light over the years. So they should hopefully drop fairly easy in doing that. And I'll do a number of things with the chainsaw to help hopefully make sure that goes well. The first thing I need to do to clear out this section is take this fence up and move it out of the way. So almost got the area cleared out. One more thing to move is our chicks right here. And these are some Red Star and Black Oshlorps from Murray McMurray Hatchery. And I'm absolutely loving these birds. But uh, we're gonna move them out of the way onto some more grass so uh, they won't have a tree fall on them. And I'm pulling from the top because my rope down below broke. That's a project for another day. They actually need a new tractor. So I'll work on that at some point. All right, so not perfect, but the fence is rolled up and out of the way for now. Next, we're gonna come through and, man, the wind is picking up. And one of the things that I've learned, I know some of you old timers may know this already, but uh, some of you newbies, uh, whenever there's a drastic change in the temperature, we typically have, that's almost like 100% of the time, there's gonna be, it's gonna be a windy day right as that transition is beginning to happen. And that's happening right now. So I'm still gonna go ahead and cut these trees down, but I'm gonna have Lacey hold on to a rope for me just to facilitate and make sure they go where the trees, where we want the trees to go. All right, so right in here, there's just one or two trees 
that are fruit trees like this persimmon here that are bearing fruit that we're gonna keep but most of the other ones aren't really doing anything so they gotta go so it really doesn't have any branches on it but we'll go about right here Throw that like Batgirl. Watch out, bro. Almost. Oh, it is. All right. Damn. Damn. admit I was a little nervous on that one I wasn't sure exactly how to drop it because the curvature of the tree I was a little interesting but uh, thankfully it fell pretty much where I wanted it to fall all right so uh, we need to get this one next but before we do this one we need to clear this one out of the way so this one goes where we want it to do and this one won't be blocking it working against it Now it's time to refuel, re-oil up, and uh, we're making some significant progress out here. So it's nice to see things opening up. And you can feel the airflow coming through much better. So uh, refuel, and then back at it. So refueled up and made sure they're real tidy because there has been times where I didn't tighten it up all the way or actually forgot to put the cap back on and then fuel or the oil just came right out. So it's like, ah, oh, what a waste, but didn't do that this time. Okay, so next we just have a few more trees that I need to drop. Um, and then after that, we're just going to limb and then buck the trees. And the limbing process is just basically that, just cutting off the limbs. And then the bucking is actually just kind of slicing them for logs. Um, actually, I may not get to that really today. We'll just kind of limb the trees and then have the kids take the limbs over to, some, to the piles. And uh, later on, we'll uh, 
get a chipper or something and grind those up. But I'm uh, so glad I'm feeling better today. And uh, those of you at who are making a lot of suggestions, I really appreciate that. Uh, being in health and wellness industry for 15 plus years or whatever it's been now. I've done a lot of things for my health, diet wise, supplement wise, you name it. Uh, but sometimes just good old rest is best. Uh, but also I do some other things like tinctures and I also have really gotten into homeopathy and that has made a big difference from my sleep and hormones, just a number of things. I found it really beneficial. Before we move on, I want to show you these persimmon trees and a lot of them in here are like that. You see here, they just grow straight up. There's no branches really going out. That's because they're just overcrowded. They're not healthy. They need to come down because they're not producing fruit when they're like this. There's, the trees are just too close together and aren't really able to fully develop and mature properly. So that's why, one of the main reasons why we're hitting the reset button on this area here. That last one was a pain. It even had poison ivy on it and it touched my face. So I'm gonna need to wash my face off because I am highly allergic to poison ivy. Right. It's got poison ivy on my face. All right, so yeah, I was just gonna wash it off. So hopefully I won't get any poison ivy from that. Alrighty, back at it. Hey guys, if you could take the chunks and put them in the gorilla cart, and then we're gonna take the, the limbs, we're gonna put them on top of the tarp, and I'll just we'll just drag them over into a pile. Can you guys do that for me? Yes, sir. Let's go. You're clipping already. <laughs> out of daylight so we're just gonna take some of these big logs here and use the log ox on them another day just gonna stack it make a stack over here who said you can't get a workout while homesteading this homesteading stuff yeah bit Get something done at the same time. All right. So if you could grab that end, Josiah, I'm gonna grab the other end. We're gonna see if we can pull this. We need to wrap this project up, cause uh, cause Lacey has her home homeopathy class tonight. She's actually on, I think, level two or something like that. So we gotta hurry up and get this done so she won't miss her class. Let's go. Here comes the second part of the workout for today. Where's it burn at? In your knee. It burns in your knee? Mm -hmm. yeah, where's it burn you at, Josiah? Nowhere. It doesn't burn you at all? Then you need to work a little harder. <laughs> Come on! Come on, keep pulling. We're gonna go right here. We're almost there. Almost there. Yeah. There we go. Alright, let's see if we can get this out. Yeah. I didn't think this through. That's it. Watch out, watch out. 
Watch out so you don't get hit in the face. Hey fellas, good job fellas. Thanks for your help, Micah. Thanks, Josiah. We did it. So we wrapped up outside and it is dinner time. Tonight, Sailor made dinner. <laughs> and on the menu, you've made eggs from the farm, as well as some oatmeal. And it's, as you can tell, it's breakfast night. And you did a pretty good job. Way to go. me. You did? I don't think you helped at all. No. <laughs> so Sayla has been learning to make some of the meals herself. So you're in training in the kitchen and you're doing a great job. And uh, the food's pretty delicious. And tonight, Lacey was working on the vlog and getting ready for her course. And uh, she's getting ready to take it here pretty soon. So you've learned a lot about homeopathy the past few months. And uh, what, what are some of the things that you have learned? that you can treat a lot of things at home um, even you know just acute things if you get hit which I did I had a huge bruise on my leg that I treated um, but anything from like ear infections to bumps and bruises things like that and you can resolve them really really fast and I have been working with the homeopath that is conducting the classes that you're doing and I must say, I have noticed a lot of positive results from it. One of the things is it's helped my sleeping out big time. And uh, I've, all, I've been in the health and wellness industry for years and taking supplements and all kind of different things, but I have noticed a tremendous difference here recently with working with Melissa and uh, the protocol that she's put me on. And uh, we're actually planning to have her on the video when I do my follow-up visit next week. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And if you have had any experience, got a little, had a little pause there for a minute. <laughs> and if you've had any experience with dealing with homeopathy, let us know in the comments section below. Well, that's it for now. We're calling it a day. It's been a long day of a lot of wood cutting, but we'll see you next time. As always, be strong, grow on. Grow on. Bye. Live life without excuses. Bye.